Hey there, it's Christine. You know that old real estate joke that the three most important things in real estate are location, location, location? 2023 replaced it with a much less amusing punchline, interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. It's what's caused all the upheaval in the real estate market in 2023 and will continue to impact conditions in 2024. That got me thinking about cause and effect. For example, according to the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board's December market report, the average selling price for all home types in 2023 dropped 5.4% from 2022. The reason? Buyers were able to negotiate lower selling prices because they had more choices. And why was that? Because homeowners who couldn't carry their mortgages had to list. So buyers who braved the market saw a bit of relief from higher mortgage costs by gaining negotiating power. That's cause and effect. So what's in store for this year? We wanted to see interest rates level out, right? Check. <laughs> the Bank of Canada just announced they'd hold fast at the current rate of 5%. That's four times in a row now. Now we want to see rates decrease. If they do, Trev's chief analyst, Jason Mercer, says we'll see a tighter market, which is good news for sellers as we'll see renewed price growth. And buyers don't worry because remember, lower borrowing costs help offset that. So all becomes more right in the world, cause and effect. Now let's look at the government's decision to reduce the number of international students. This is good news for the housing market. Why? It helps increase inventory to help manage housing prices, especially in the condo market. Then guess what happens? Investors get turned off, further opening the market that just saw inventory rise by over 28% in the third quarter of 2023. So it's good news for first time buyers because you'll finally get your chance to enter the market. Another example of cause and effect, or maybe that's a domino effect. Either way, it's good news. And condo sellers don't freak out because Treb's chief analyst also expects to see the condo market tighten in the second half of 2024 with more buyers out there. They can't resist that sweet spot where there's more inventory, inventory and lower interest rates. Meanwhile, you're entering a market where prices were only down slightly in the third quarter compared to 2022. The cause and effect, a more balanced market where everybody wins. <laughs>